Hello, welcome to the App Code blog on YouTube. Today we're going to continue our series on building a tab bar application. If you haven't been following along, you can get the code we're going to be starting off with at www.theappcodeblog.com slash code slash hello world tab 2.zip and that'll give you the code to start off with. So let's go ahead and open that up. And the last time when we were working on this, we added a segmented control to our first view, to this red view. We added the navigation bar and then the segmented control on top of that. You see the green and the blue views don't have that. So what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna change our view depending on which segmented control we select. Now we already connected that segmented control up to an IB action that recognized which segmented we could, we selected and printed out a line to the console to tell us what we selected. So we'll be working with that method to change the actual view. All right, let's go ahead and quit that and get started. We want to open up our red view nib file in Interface Builder and I'm going to add a label on here and I'm going to center the label and the first thing that when we first in, open the app the magenta tab is selected so I'm going to go ahead and make this say magenta and I just want to make it bold and a little bit bigger just for my own personal reasons okay now we also want to change the background color. Let's see if they have a magenta here. There it is. It says magenta. So we're changing the background. So when we first open the app, the magenta tab is selected and we'll have the background magenta and the label will say magenta. All right, let's go ahead and save that. And let's go to our Red View Controller header file and we're gonna add an IB outlet for that UI label. So just do IB outlet, UI label, and we'll just name it color label. And we'll set its property. Um, I'll tell you what. I actually like to set, you can have this both places, it doesn't matter, but just to keep it all clean, I like to keep it there. And we're going to go ahead and synthesize our label in the implementation mm -hmm. file, like that. And now let's go back to Interface Builder and let's hook that up. So we want to select, let me get our document window where we can see it. Select the Files Owner, go to the Connections Inspector and we're going to hook up our IB outlet to that UI label we selected. Just like that. Okay, now what we want to do is go to our implementation file and here is that IB action that recognizes which, segmented, which segment we selected and you can see right now it's just printing a line out to the console. But what I want to do first is I want to change Oops. the text of our label when we select the appropriate segmented control. It was already the same magenta, but we need to go ahead and do that so that when we go back and forth, we'll say the appropriate thing. In this one, we're going to say fire engine. And another thing we're going to do is we're going to change the background color depending on what segment was selected. So we'll just say UI color and get the magenta color, which we already have it set. But if we want to go back and forth, we're going to have to set it again. And then here we're just going to do red. That's kind of the uh, fire engine red color. So now, when we select our segmented control, it's going to fire off this IB action. It's going to print out what we selected to the log to the console. 
it's going to change our label to the appropriate color and it's going to change the color of our background. Let's go ahead and test it out. Build and run. Magenta starts off with and then we can select fire engine, change the background color, change our label. How about that? Alright, let's do one more thing to this. Let's add something to it that we can show and hide. So let's go back and open it up in Interface Builder again. And let's see, what should we add? Let's add a date picker. And one more thing. How about uh, a search bar? Let's go ahead and add those two things. Now, we need to add IB outlets to those, to our header file. So we'll go ahead and do that. We need a UI search bar. And we'll just name it search bar and we need a UI date picker which we'll just name date picker on our properties for those two Gonna cheat here a little bit by just doing all the copying and pasting We want to synthesize those. The other one was date picker. Now, let's go ahead and hook those up while I'm thinking about it. So go back to Interface Builder, Files Owner, Connections Inspector, and we'll hook up the date picker to the date picker and the search bar to the search bar. Just like that. Okay, back to Xcode. We want to go to our implementation file and we are going to show and hide those at the appropriate times. So let's go search bar, uh, set hidden. We're going to say yes, because we're going to hide that right off the bat. And then we'll do date picker, set hidden, no. So we will see the date picker right off the bat. So the date picker will be showed with the magenta view and the search bar will be showed with the fire engine view. So right off the bat when we first load the app the search bar will be hidden, the date picker will be shown. Just like the magenta view is shown right off the bat. Okay so we want that is all set. We're going to add it again and down here we're just going to change it around so that when we select the fire engine segment the search bar will no longer be hidden and the date picker well, all right, let's go ahead and test that out by clicking build and run. So when we first load the app, we have the magenta segment selected. It says magenta, it's got the magenta background and it shows the date picker. When we select fire engine, changes the label, changes the background and changes to our UI search bar and it hides the date picker. So what happens is it hides or shows these depending on which segment is selected. And that's how we go about changing our view depending on which segment we select. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. It's fun stuff to play around with and <clears throat> if you want to see more tutorials you can go to the app codeblog.com. I have close to 50 tutorials out there. Uh, I started on YouTube a little late so it's trying to catch up. Some of the tutorials on the app code blog are a little more advanced than this. So if you're looking for more advanced topics, go there and hopefully I'll have YouTube caught up there without too much more time going by. So that's it. Thanks again for coming and we'll see you next time.